Hello. We are over at Disney Springs today. It is Cinco de Mayo, which and seeing as Cinco de Mayo is probably more of an elaborated American holiday than anything else, we're going to celebrate the American version of Cinco de Mayo, which means margaritas and Mexican food. That's fine by me. And if you're going to get Mexican food in Disney, you should probably go to Frontera Cucina in uh, Disney Springs because, you know, Rick Award Bayless. Award-winning chef Rick right, Bayless right. serving Mexican food from the different regions of Mexico. So if nothing else, it's an excuse to drink margaritas and eat Mexican. Let's go do that. So I did not get a margarita today. I got the blue corn old fashioned. The last time we were here, they did not have it. So I'm gonna get it. It's got blue corn whiskey in it, uh, chocolate mole bitters. It just sounds so different that I was really excited for it. Ooh, that's actually, that's delicious. It's a little sweeter. Ooh, I want Jason to try that one too. It's really good. And I got the Play With Fire margarita, which is a cucumber and jalapeno margarita with a hibiscus salt rim. It's also a pretty drink, but I'm afraid it's going to be super spicy. <laughs> oh, and there's the heat. Oh, that's really good. That tastes like a fresh garden margarita. I don't know how to explain it any other way, but you taste that cucumber, you taste the fresh pepper. You don't taste any of the hibiscus, really, but that might have been my first sip. I don't know, but that is just a really nice, refreshing lunchtime margarita. Okay, and for, for just good measure, I'm going to try Edge Drink, too. Wow, that smells really good. Oh wow, I've never had anything like that. This is going to be a weird description, but it's like if you take an orange, an old fashioned, and a tortilla chip, and that little bit of like salty corn, that's really good, but it's weird. Lunch. I chose the Oaxacan mole chicken. I've had mole in a long time and it just sounded delicious. So even though I was gonna choose something else at the last minute, I chose this and I'm really excited. It smells delicious. And for lunch, I got the cochinita pibil, which is kind of like a raisin stewed pork with pickled onion. So the minute you put pickled onion on something, I'm all about it. For you, please. Hi, everyone. We are in Sprinkles right now at Disney Springs for one reason. They have a margarita cupcake. I don't know exactly what that is, but it's a margarita cupcake, and that's good enough for me. This is the margarita cupcake. It has key lime buttercream and a little like lime jelly on top. And um, no, I'll wait. All right, let's give this a shot. I don't know that it's necessarily reminiscent of a margarita, but you can taste the lime. It's more subtle than I thought it would be, which is good. 
The cake is good, it's moist. The frosting is really good too. It's creamy and soft. I like it, it's a good cupcake. I don't know, again, if it necessarily screams margarita to me, but I'll enjoy it. And I guess Jason could have the other half. Our cupcake suffered a little bit of a casualty. We tried to cut it in half to show it in off and my half fell over on the paper. So it's not gonna be pretty me tasting it, but I'm still gonna eat it, it's a cupcake. Like Ed said, it's not reminiscent of a margarita. It has a nice dense cake that has the kind of lime flavor in it along with the buttercream, but it does have a salted rim on the buttercream. So you get that little bit of salt too, if it were a margarita. And wooden utensils, that's kind of fun. So it was a fun Cinco de Mayo afternoon today. That was only our second time eating at Frontera Cucina. Mm -hmm. The first time was good. Yeah. This time? Mmm. Although last time they did have guacamole with crickets, crickets. on top. Crickets. Yes, they had lime crickets on the guacamole, which was amazing. And yes, we eat that. Yes, but we did. today, man, I had that Oaxacan mole chicken. Absolutely out of this world good. I, mean, I, think, I think you had the winning dish on the table. I kept going back for oh. bite after bite. I don't know. Frontera is very, very good and more inspired Mexican food from the different regions. They actually have menus right now that they're yeah. going through. I but mean, the best way I could kind of explain it is it's not the Mexican-American food that a lot of us think of. You know, burritos covered in cheese mm -hmm. and rice and beans. It is a lot more authentic. Yes. But it is delicious food. Everything is seasoned well and thought out. But my chicken dish today was Ooh. one of the best things I've had in a while. The flavor was great. The cook on the chicken was great. Uh, That's what I'm getting next time I go back to Frontera. Yeah. Mine was oh. good, but yours was outstanding. I, I couldn't be happier. It was delicious. Mm -hmm. And then cap off a Cinco de Mayo margaritas, Mexican food with a sprinkles cupcake. Yeah. Honestly, uh, it was a nice treat. I probably would have been a little more happy if I had actually just walked away after my mm -hmm. chicken because that taste was so good I wanted to kind of keep it. But I thought the, the margarita cupcake was a nice little feature for the day. Yep. Well, needless to say, we probably didn't need the margarita cupcake because no. we were full, but we ate it. So <laughs> definitely time to go walk around Disney Springs now. Yeah, you yeah. could definitely use like uh, 500 laps to burn those calories. Sure, off. we'll go yeah. do it. So if you like this video and love watching us eat like we always do, <laughs> be sure to give the video a giant thumbs up yes, and please. make sure you subscribe, hit the bell icon next to it to be notified every time we have a new video. Yeah, and take the link to the video and share.